Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is Mary with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your April 2019 general reading secret message. Sorry it's a little bit late, but I'm here to do it now. So thank you for clicking on and watching and I hope you like it. I hope it resonates for you in some way. And if it does, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications to be notified of when I post new readings. Um, would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you're returning. Thank you for stopping by again and watching. I really do appreciate it and I love doing this for you guys. So thank you, thank you. Um, you can check the description box below for all the information you need on tarot reading if you're new. Uh, decks I'm using, personal information there for uh, private readings. My PayPal link is there if you wish to exchange energy as in a tip or donation to do these free readings for you. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. No amount is too small. So thank you, thank you. Um, so again, you know, this may or may not resonate with everybody, so that's fine. Take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. I will mention the signs that I see, but please do not get caught up on all the signs. Just take, again, what resonates and what doesn't. Energies can reverse and flip-flop around, so... Um, do that as you see fit if it fits into your situation if it does not fit into your situation Please don't try to make it fit. It's probably not a message for you. You can check the description box below for older readings um, You know just disregard the date if you find a title that resonates for you I say watch it. There's probably a message in there for you. So f please feel free to do that So okay, so Taurus we're just gonna get started here for April 2019. Let me see what's going on for you guys in April or there on after. Doesn't necessarily have to be just for the month of April. Can be from this point on till whenever this may occur or may not occur. So um, we'll see. We could pick up past, present, future energies. So with this deck here, it's the um, Zodiac Oracle. We will see for you, Taurus, what sign, element, or planet energy you could be dealing with for April or there on after. And if you are not resonating with what is pulled, that's totally fine. Rest of the message may be for you. So can we have one card? That was quick for the sign of Taurus. <laughs> the sun, and I just seen that. So the sun represents Leo. So you could be dealing with a Leo. If you're not dealing with the Leo, the sun is all about, it's your birth sign. Um, but it's also about your identity, who you are, uh, your personal being, beliefs, um, everything that has to do with you and what makes up you, your personal identity. So let me just see here, because I'm not an astrologist, so um, the key words for the sun are self-image, self-esteem, individuality, identity, personal creativity, ideas, paternal figures, and authority. So expression of your sense of self. So that's all, it has to do with everything with you, who you are, how you express yourself, your identity, your creativity, your ideas, um, how you perceive, how you um, express yourself through your individuality, in your self-image, in your self-esteem. So we'll see how that fits into your reading. So in the sun in tarot, um, as that was an astrological, uh, uh, astro if I can't even say the word, but that's how astrology sees the sun. But in tarot, the sun is all about victory, joy, success, happiness, growth, expansion, healing, enlightenment, family, children. It's the most positive tarot card. So it could go, um, could have to do with any of those things. So in... Sun is 13, which reduces to 4, which is all about the home, the basis, the foundation. Foundation of you, foundation of your home. However, that we'll see how that applies into your reading. As you see this um, creature, whatever you want to call it, is depicted, is very unique. So that you may have 
a very unique sense of who you are, a unique way that you express yourself, the way, unique way you appear to others, um, self-expression, identity expression. You may have a lot of piercing tattoos, that sort of thing. You may dress differently than other people. You may just really love to express yourself. Okay, so... You, I don't know, maybe you just really like to stand out above everybody else from the crowd. Be unique and different. Okay. So, with this deck here, we are going to get your secret message. What is most needed for the signing of Taurus for April 2019 spirit, please. Can we have one card? There we go. I'll go over the bottom of the deck as extra messages at the end. And we have the eyes of beauty, positive expectations, clarity. So this is seeing things. This is um, being positive. This is seeing things clearly. Um, this is like always seeing things will be in your favor. Things will always come to um, a positive outcome. Thinking clearly, seeing clearly, having a lot of mental clarity, seeing everything with beauty and, and astonishment. So let me just read a few to number 25, and that um, 25 equals 7, that is a divine number. So 25, let's see, just a few keywords here. Um, Examine your perceptions. Do you see the world as perfect and beautiful? Um, perception is everything. As in seeing a glass either half empty or half full. Move forward with conviction. All is well now and always will be. You will see true prosperity as a result. Expect to see, the, to see beauty and you will attract your highest good. So it's kind of like the law of attraction, you know, being positive, um, enjoying every moment fully, seeing the best in everything and everyone. Like attracts like. Thinking positively, acting in positive ways will bring in positive things to you. Okay, so... Or uh, maybe there's a need for you to um, think in that manner. If you're not, act in that manner. If you're feeling a little down or pessimistic, this is telling you to change your perspective, to be positive, to see everything in a different light, as with the sun energy. Okay, so let's see Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. You are the last reading for April. All my readings, I go based on the previous batch of readings that got the most likes and views. And then that's how I do the next batch of readings. I don't, sometimes I go in order from Aries to Pisces, and sometimes I do it based on the likes and views. So, okay, so this is a big deck. I have to shuffle. Let's clear. This is a new deck I'm using. This is the Oceanic Tarot really pretty it's all under water scenery mermaids dolphins that sort of thing okay so clarifying Taurus what's going on with Taurus so we have the two of Pentacles earth energy here this is your energy Virgo Taurus Capricorn options this is balancing things out um, juggling things around trying to make sense of things trying to balance things evenly Looking at your options, seeing where you need to balance things, where you don't. And then we have the lovers. This is Gemini. Um, this, you know, usually has to do with making a decision, as in choices, usually between two people. But it doesn't have to be, as we have two here. So choices about something. It could be about anything. It could be about people, career, um, Maybe lovers, um, 
making personal choices and options in your life. So we'll see how this plays out for you, Taurus. This is a general reading, but if you can fit it into a love situation or any situation, then please do that. Um, I do my love reading separate. Queen of Pentacles, your energy again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And this is someone who is um, very strong, stable, grounded, who has done their hard work. They're stable, they're practical, they're smart, they're analytical. They make their pentacles, you know, very much can take care of themselves. They're nurturing and giving and caring. They can take care of themselves and take care of others. Can be king or queen. Um, I know it says queen, but, you know, it can be male or female or just very feminine energy of some kind. If you're a man that's feminine, then, you know, and then we have four of cups. So now we have boredom, contempt, not feeling happy in something. Four of cups energy, that's water. Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but, you know, it doesn't have to be. And then we have strength, Leo energy as with the sun. So here's spirit confirming the sun energy. Um, Leo, but doesn't have to be. This is finding your inner strength, your inner wisdom, your courage, your stability, um, being courageous and brave, knowing when to hold back, knowing when to move forward, you know, harnessing your stability here as with the queen of pentacles. Ooh, so there's some kind of options or choices need to be made either to bring in a more stable energy for you or to uh, maintain your stability. There's as stability here, but there's boredom, some kind of boredom though. I don't know what that is. Um, maybe whatever is not fulfilling for you anymore that you're bored with, it's not uh, satisfying to you anymore. Maybe there's a need to make a choice to remove it from your life, having the courage and strength to do that, to bring balance into your life with the Two of Pentacles as a balancing act. Okay, so let's get a five more. Got a few more cards to clarify what is going on. And with the Eyes of Beauty, I think it's just it's telling you to stay, to think clearly of what you need to do to balance out your life, what choices you need to make, what to um, maybe let go of, and what you can hold on to that will balance you out to um, keep you in a stable, grounded energy. Okay, so can we get a few more cards for the sign of... Oh, that's way too many. Way too many. I'm going to take two or three. That was like four or five at a time. I have a few more cards here, please, to clarify. For the sign, let's take that one. Four of Wands. So reward, but this is fire energy again. Um, Leo Sag Aries, but doesn't have to be. This is about the home. This is stability, the basis, the foundation. This could speak of something in your marriage, in your home, um, of some kind. There's options, to see decisions you need to make about your home life, choices you need to make to remain stable and grounded and strong and confident. Something that's not fulfilling for you that you need to probably balance out, cut away, make changes, could be anything. King of Wands, so um, here's the fire energy again, Leo Sagiris. Practicality, being practical, being strong, stable, and grounded. Maybe it's something with your finances. Maybe you need to stop spending in, in a certain way, um, maybe saving more money to bring balance. Maybe there's a need to balance your finances, I don't know. Uh, maybe you're spending on something that you feel is not worth spending on anymore with the Four of Cups energy. It's just not fulfilling in any way. It's not worth it anymore. Um, I don't know what that could be. Um, only you would know. But here's the King of Wands, practicality. Being practical, being, again, 
with um, the strength energy. Wands, a very strong, uh, passionate go-getters, creative, uh, stable. They go after what they want, a lot of desire, passion, and drive, and they're usually successful. So let's get some more here. Three of Pentacles, recognition. This is working. This is your energy again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, working with others. Um, Planning, building, working together. Success, six of wands. So this is success, victory, uh, accomplishment, getting what you desire, what is meant for you. A lot of uh, fire energy here as with the sun. So you definitely could have a fire sign around you or a Leo, or maybe you have it in your chart, or they have it in their chart. Achievement, Eight of Pentacles. So this is working hard, uh, mastering your craft, getting the accomplishment, um, rewards, the um, abundance is just coming in. You're working hard, gaining that steady flow of stability and abundance. So, and it's right under stability. Wow. I just placed it right under strength, which is stability, success. So, something though, the four of wands is about your home life. So I feel like there's something in your home life that is not serving you anymore that you may need to make choices and look at other options, maybe changing something in your home life, something you're spending on something that is not worth spending on anymore. You need to um, balance it out, maybe spend differently or make a change. But I see there will be achievement and success in whatever change you make. I mean, maybe you could be changing homes, moving. Um, I don't get the sense of moving here. Maybe making some sort of change in your home. If it's not your home, it could be in your career. Um, recognition. Maybe you're going to get a raise. Maybe you're going to get a promotion. Maybe you're bored in what you're doing now. And, you know, you're going to garner recognition and get success by getting um, a promotion, maybe. I don't know. So, I know, let's see, I'm just going to shuffle, are there any more messages for the sign of Taurus for April 2019? Any more messages? Well, okay, so let's see. We have three here. They fell on the floor. So we have the Fool here, which is a new beginning. So this could be um, either starting over in a whole new career or taking on a whole new position, which, which will bring in like a whole new beginning for you, which you will have more stability. You will have success, achievement. You will be able to be more practical in your life. Maybe you're having a hard time with finances and um, uh, balancing out your stability. But I feel like maybe if you get this promotion or a new job or whatever it is for you, it is a whole new beginning, be able to dive right in here and be able to reset at zero, maybe clearing your debt or something like that. What else do we have here? So we have the page of wands. So here's the message coming in, a creative message, a passionate message, an idea. Um, so this could be this offer coming in to um, help you in this new beginning. So maybe this could be a, a promotion of some kind or a new career or a new job. So you're resilient with the Queen of Swords energy. Um, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. And the Fool is um, Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. 
Um, so yeah, you're resilient. You know, you want you you want truth, clarity, communication, seeing things clearly, cutting away things no longer serving you. Um, let's see. Yep. And here's the sun. Wow. Here's spirit confirming the sun, the sun twice. So, and it's right here. I'm putting on top of strength, which is Leo, which is sun is Leo. Strength is Leo. Sun is Leo. Um, King of Wands can be um, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries. So, yeah, I definitely see whatever changes are going to be made. If you're getting a new career, getting a promotion, a raise, it's going to benefit you. You're going to have happiness, success, achievement, recognition, able to um, balance out your energies, whether it's your finances, something in your home life, be able to be more practical. Um, it'd be like a whole new beginning for you. Be able to reset your life at zero and no more debt of any kind. Um seeing the truth of things, being resilient, no longer having to put that sword up, being defensive and worrisome about things. What do I have to cut? What can I keep? I have to, you know, try to balance things out all the time so I can keep afloat. <laughs> this is the Oceanic Tarot. <laughs> keep afloat, keep on top. Um, but I see happiness and joy, success, victory on your side. So, uh, remain positive and you will get a positive outcome with the sun energy. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the hangman, Pisces or Cancer. Uh, things are kind of stuck and stagnant now, being in limbo, um, barely making ends meet, just kind of hanging back. Five of Swords, Conflict. Feeling very conflicted about how my life's going to go. How am I going to be able to move forward? What do I need to change? What do I need to do? Three of Wands is waiting, you know, going in that new direction, but waiting. So maybe you're waiting to hear about a raise, promotion, a new career opportunity, something. You're. This is about waiting. You see the um, new direction you're going in, but you're just kind of waiting. For it to come in nine of pentacles so you will have uh, abundance growth prosperity gratitude um happiness and joy be able to stand on your own with the nine of pentacles energy be slow grounded steady stable energy but it is there let's see what is under that ace of swords so there's your new beginning you will have victory you will have victory stable and grounded on your own but you're waiting right now for that to come in and you're feeling conflicted and things are in limbo. But, you know, you're, you either need to stay positive or you are staying positive. And this abundance is going to come to you. So let's see, Taurus. What on the bottom? What's on the bottom of the deck for you? The Hawk Prince, Spirit Communication, Paying Attention. 11 is, 11 is a divine number. So really pay attention to... Everything around you, signs, symbols, inner knowing, trusting your gut, your intuition, and all those kind of things. Maybe if you are very spiritual, you're getting signs, you're getting symbols, and you're not really seeing them. This is telling you to really, really pay attention, connect to your faith, to spirituality, pray, meditate, and connect. The web weaver, synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. Exactly. I feel like the divine is trying to connect with you. Everything will happen in synchronicity. Everything has cause and effect. And for again, with the home, the basis, the foundation. Everything has cause and effect. White, pure. White is about purity, honesty, truth. And divine messages here, spirit communication. Trying to tell you if you're confused, feeling imbalanced as with the Two of Pentacles energy that um, everything will be fine in the long run. And in the end, the uh, Pentacles are very slow moving energy, stable energy, but this may be a slow, steady, hard process. But as long as you remain strong here with the Strength card and just keep moving forward, being resilient, 
trying to stay positive, you will get your happiness, success, achievement, and victory outcome here. Recognition you deserve. I really feel like it's either a promotion or a big raise or something of that kind or having more input into what you're doing um, or something like that. So I do see success coming your way. Just try to stay positive. Okay, Taurus, so I hope that made sense for you. That was your April 2019 general reading secret message. Again, if you liked it, please... Um, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do about two a month for every sign. I do a general and I do a love. I do work a full-time job, so I can't really do more than that for now. But as long as this channel continues to flourish and grow and uh, people connect with me and I'm able to do this full-time, I'll be able to do more readings for you guys, which I truly love to do. So I hope you connect with me, and if you do, uh, thank you so much. So I'm wishing you um, a lot of luck here for you, and I hope things turn in your favor. I see they will. So I'm sending you much love, light, and blessings. And I always say, as with the sun energy, is always, always remain positive and shine your light.